What's going on, people? We are Tottenham TV here. Tottenham go crashing out the Europa League, losing 3-0 out in Dynamo Zagreb after taking a 2-0 lead out to Zagreb. I mean, this is the most damaging defeat that, that we could have thought of. I mean, it is an absolute disgrace the way they handled themselves today. I mean, from minute one to minute 120, it was just not good enough today. Dynamo Zagreb were the, by far, by far the better side against us for the whole first 90 minutes and then for extra time probably as well. Yeah, we peppered them a bit at the end of the extra time, but still, Dynamo Zagreb completely played us on the park, especially for that first 90 minutes. It's a performance that lacked imagination, lacked belief, lacked... Um, any sort of ambition I mean it was an absolute disgrace of a performance and you you got to look at Jose Mourinho now you got to look at this squad keep looking at this squad because it's just not good enough you can't you cannot do that under any circumstances what they did on that pitch that on that football pitch today it's just not good enough performances out there I can't think of one player that played even slightly well it was an absolute disgrace all you needed to do was score one goal to seal off that tie but you go and lose three nil it's an absolute disgrace and now you know me and my brother we've backed Jose Mourinho to the hills and back this season but how many more times can we back him our season's pretty much dead now we go out to Aston Villa this weekend and we lose that is it it's the season over we've just got the Carabao Cup final and that's it and if we finish outside the top four and win the Carabao Cup he's got to go if we finish outside the top four and win the Carabao Cup He's got to go. I mean, it is an absolute disgrace what's going on right now at my football club. And I, I'm not sure how much more of this I can take. Yeah, today was a, the, easily uh, the lowest of the Mourinho uh, tenure for sure. We've hit a brand new low after it's being 2-0 up. lowest point in the last six years. It was absolutely like horrendous. Seven years. Absolutely horrendous how we've... Uh, how how we've given up a 2-0 two, two advantage from the first leg. It's like we went into this game thinking we'll just get through it and it'll be fine. We don't need to do anything. We didn't need to turn up. We just, we just had to be on the pitch. And uh, as long as we're there, the, as long as the time keeps ticking away, we're going to be fine. And first half... You know, Zagreb had a couple of chances, but it was a bit of a nothing game. And you and like we just were coasting through it. would have said it. they were the better side first We were half. just coasting through it, though. We were coasting through the game. That, that We didn't take the advantage. We didn't take the initiative at any point during it's this like game. It's like they turned up at the game thinking we're in the quarterfinal already. Yeah, and, and, then, and then, you know, second half starts... We completely lethargic Zagreb. We know Zagreb are going to come at us and how they came at us. What they goals they high. scored. Bloody Orsic hell. Orsic with a hat-trick. Absolutely fantastic hat-trick from Orsic. You've got to you give him credit, that. don't you? You've um, just got to hold your hands up to him because he was absolutely sensational. But that doesn't take away why we didn't... We just needed one fucking goal. Just one goal. We couldn't, we couldn't get. It. We couldn't do it. We couldn't do it at all. We couldn't find that goal. And we were just completely devoid of ideas at times. The only time we looked like scoring was, yeah, literally in that second half of extra time, those last five minutes where we, I can't believe we didn't score, to be honest, the chances we had. I can't believe that we didn't but score. you can't right put yourself in that position. But no, it's not good enough. It's you cannot put yourself in that, that position. That third goal, just however good the quality of the goal was, it was an absolute disgrace how, we met, how he, he weaved his way through three players and then he shot from the edge of the box finding the corner. I mean, it was a disgrace how uh, he was allowed to get into that position without being completely unchallenged and it was just a, a theme of the whole game a complete lack of intensity a complete lack of aggression or fight we went into this game thought we were thinking it was going to be easy thinking it was going to be as easy as the first leg and these performances now were really not good enough I and mean, I'm, I'm really starting to seriously question how Mourinho is motivating this team however much I think the players are at fault and bloody hell I think they're at fault I really do um, I, you know to be 2-0 up and to not be able to motivate your team to um, see out the game and to keep it tight and to see, see this out to, to a win in a, in a, against a Croatian team who just had their manager um, sent to prison two days ago like this is beyond pathetic and beyond a new low and and yeah I think he's a dead man walking after this game I really yeah. I hate to say it but I think we uh, we had a lot of our eggs in the Europa League basket and, uh, and we put a lot of effort in the Europa League this season all the qualifiers we went through and the group stages and you know we've uh, Tottenham had a long uh, slog through the Europa League this year and to chuck it away the way we have is unforgivable absolutely unforgivable and it's not about picking out individuals it's about the team today the team was an absolute disgrace the way we conducted ourselves on the pitch the way that we 
we knew we just needed a goal in this game. We just needed one goal um, to, 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 to know that Zagreb aren't going to re respond with four. We knew that and we couldn't even have the balls to, to get that goal over the line. And we only pushed for it really when it was 3-0. That was the only time we put, even at 2-0, it was like we were too scared. We didn't really want to um, concede a third before 90 minutes. Maybe we thought that if we took it to extra time, we would have a better shot at it than if we went, went for it in the 90. And uh, I mean... It's a disgrace. It's an embarrassment. It's an embarrassment to the team. Um, it's an embarrassment to Tottenham Hotspur Football Club. Um, it really is. And I mean, this is this is a new low. It's a, it's a new low right Lowest now under Jose Mourinho. Yeah. Lowest point of uh, since the beginning of the Poch tenure, in my opinion. The only and way he can save himself is getting top four. That's now. what I'm the saying. Only the, only, the only way Jose can save himself in this job now is and, getting and top the, four. And the thing is, the way we've reacted to bad results this exactly. season, there's exactly. no chance we pick ourselves up from that result the only and way, turn it around. No chance. If we no beat, chance. If we lose to Villa this weekend, that's it. That's it for me. In my opinion, I, we it doesn't matter. Be, Even if we beat Villa, we, it's not about beating Villa. It's about being then Everton, then United. Yeah, of course, you, you but Villa is the first step, isn't it? Yeah, I know, but it's like we have to go on a real serious run now if we're going to get top four. We got to have a flawless end from now until the end of the season, pretty much. I think our season might be and, over, and that's not going to happen. That's really not going to happen. It's, but look, um, we're out of the Europa League. It's absolute embarrassment today. I don't know what else I can say on it. It's just what what can we say? You know? It wasn't even like we picked a, like a completely weak team. Like the team is more than good. It's the same team, similar team that when playing the first leg is more than good enough to be getting a result. I don't want to hear, oh, we played a B team. We that's didn't even need it's a bollocks. result. We just needed one goal. It's bollocks just that we played a goal. B team or we played a weakened team. So that's why we went out. It's rubbish. The team out there was more than good enough to keep hold it a 2-0 advantage. it was. Come and on. And it was just application. It's about how you, uh, how you approach the game. And we were just off it from the first minute. We all... We, we, you have to go into this game knowing that a goal in this game and we and and, we, and Zagreb need four and we didn't have the balls to take it to them. We were way too scared. We were way too fearful. We played with fear, just like Laurie said on the, in the on Sunday. They played with fear. Why are we playing with fear in these games? Zagreb. Zagreb knew they could just ruffle a few feathers, get stuck into us, and we would crumble. That's exactly what happened. We're so predictable, man, and it but. really is not good enough absolutely bunch of bottle jobs well we move on to sunday now which could be a very detrimental uh game in jose Mourinho's tenure at if he Spurs. loses i think they might sack him right after that game honestly. <sighs> they might give him till the cup final but i mean if if he does lose against villa then i think he's, he's a dead man walking at the end of the season i really believe that um i think if he does lose against villa they'll take from now until the end of the season to draw up the managers they want speak to who they want and get someone in for next season that's that's, that's what's going to happen that's where it's going but th that i can't i can't see a way around it at the moment because i can't see us getting top four the way we're playing at the moment and the way we've reacted to defeats this season doesn't fill me with any sort of confidence whatsoever. This team is men they're mentally are so brittle. It's like anything that goes against them and it all, you know. Absolutely. Us. Bagel FC, his expression calls it. Nothing in the middle. Absolutely nothing. They breezed past us to Zay Zagreb. They absolutely played us off the park for pretty much the majority of the game. They looked the better side than us. So they looked look like the Premier League side. We looked like the bloody Croatians. You and know what I mean? And, you know, backing Mourinho this whole season, I've backed him, I've backed him, and to have a result thrown in our face like that, uh, such the embarrassing nature of that result is unforgivable. And, uh, and I think this, this, this result might be the start of the beginning of the end for him. Mm. All right, we move on to Villa on the weekend, 7.30 kickoff on a Sunday night. Come and join us for the live watch long. Um, we are done in the Europa League. We're done in European football this season. Embarrassing. Absolutely embarrassing defeat. 3-0 to Zagreb. Like, subscribe and comment. And as always, come on you Spurs. <laughs>